behind me, you've been on your bike. He said, left, <laughs> left up carrying the bike. I mean, walking. I mean, he literally was like, you take it for two days to get up. That would have kept him busy. <laughs> yes, it would have. We're doing a little live video tonight with my mother, who is the social media expert. <laughs> so, Mom, I told my supporters a while ago that you did that thing where you were trying to tune into my live video and you recorded yourself. <laughs> How did that that was terrible. What I don't you, know. You I were going know. like this in the video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did that to young Thomas about three days ago. You did? You videoed I think yourself? I, I think I had him on live video and I didn't know it. So I've been trying to help mom with her Facebook. So mom is constantly doing that thing where it seems like it happens to a lot of people in their 70s where people hack your account. And they send you Facebook messages that say, hello, how are you doing? That is generally, <laughs> I got two yesterday. That is generally a sign that their account has been hacked. So note to self, if you're there and somebody sent you that, your account's been hacked. I think I got one today from Edna and one from, who else? Ed. No, <laughs> Sarah. Edna Harvey and Sarah McLaughlin. I got two spam messages from them and I need to send it to them. So I was sitting here with mom and I have her phone in front of me. And so I was like, wonder why her phone is always getting spammed. So I enter, get into her Facebook. So here's her, this is her phone and I'm in her Facebook. So here's a message here from Renee Johnson. Now, do you know Renee Johnson? No. You don't know her? I don't think so. Never heard of her? No. She's never heard of Renee Johnson. But Renee Johnson says this. Hello. How are you doing? And mom says this. Now, what mom should have said is what? What should you have said? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you, should, you should have blocked Renee Johnson. But she didn't. She said this to Renee Johnson. Her phone locks every eight seconds. She says... All's good. <laughs> I try. I try to keep updated on everyone. Well, I thought it was a classmate. Oh, so she thought it was a classmate. Well, it's been a long time. Through Rob Bob, as our southern friends call him, in Francine. I admire that our classmates get together from time to time. I miss seeing you. Best Alice. So then Renee <laughs> says to her, I'm pretty good and happy for my life has experienced a graceful turnaround. <laughs> that was one sentence. <laughs> so we had to block. I blocked Renee Johnson. Now then she gets another message from, oh no, then she went on and said this. You responded to that. <laughs> well, I worried about her because she had a bad turnaround. <laughs> she worried about Renee. So she says... <laughs> That's always a blessing. I like your terminology about, about a graceful turn, turnaround. Do you participate in the luncheons? They look like they'd be fun and a great reason to be out. Even with a mask, take good care. Yes, you should tag people that you think need to see this. This is a public service announcement. You know, my supporter group tomorrow morning will be going about over this in depth. <laughs> so then she says to mom, are you aware or registered for the ongoing gradient grant community outreach supports program? And at that point, I, I ended Renee's relationship <laughs> with mom. <laughs> now then I mom, lost a friend. <laughs> mom hears from Richard, Barbara and Bob Bauman here. We are laughing our asses off. <laughs> Tell so, him that's not funny. She says it's not funny. So Richard McCroskey, who's that? Yeah, that's our friend Mariana and Dick. Okay, so she knows Richard McCroskey. Right. But when Richard McCroskey sent you a message and it said, hello, how are you? Not good. Not good. 
what you should have done is clicked on his profile, and when it told you that he had one friend. Which was me. No, no, it wasn't you. Because he's, <laughs> he's set up a new account. So you're not even a friend. <laughs> so when Richard McCroskey sends you a message, you look on the profile, and he says, hello, how are you? And she says, we're good. Blair has a sight set on a <laughs> September return to Florida. Hopefully, all is good with you both and Mariana's mother. Tell her I'm sorry if I butchered her name. And then I ended Richard McCroskey. Well, that's sad. That was that was for ten. <laughs> now here's here's Barbara Coley. You know, know her? Yeah, I do. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Have you wondered how they all ask the same thing? <laughs> and if any of the scammers are out there, you need to come up with something new. Then hello, how are you? I never answer any of those. I block them. Lynn, that's good. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're blocking. So I'm with my parents in Florida, and the supporters are going to be seeing a lot of my dad, who is not allowed to be on uh, big videos because... <laughs> He goes not, without saying. He's not politically correct. <laughs> so you won't ever see him here. Here's where you'll see him. You'll see him through the glass. <laughs> like a like somebody at the fair with eight fingers. <laughs> Are y'all drinking? No, we're not drinking. Not yet. We might start. <laughs> that, so here she says this. Barbara Coley. Hello. How are you? Oh, look, Amelia Kirkland said she was the mom of one of my something, something. Yeah, you know those people. Yeah, but this is not her. <laughs> this is pretend Barbara Coley, Amelia. You must look at the profile. Mom says to her, it's July 11th. Happy 11th. Do we tell people happy 11th? I have no idea. Happy 11th. You said it at 2.30 in the afternoon, so you... She couldn't have been drunk. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see your message. All is good. And we seem to go from Rocky Mount to the coast with stops in Edenton. As Adrian and family are there, trust all is going well with you. Well, that's good. So I gave them all your information, too. <laughs> now, here's Diane Fry. Okay, I think, you know her? A, I think that's a classmate. Look, Heidi King just said... I am abandoned in a foreign country. Please send money to my PayPal. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you very much. Uh, she would be like, Heidi, what's your PayPal? I have Venmo. Let me see if Adrian can help me get it going. What time is it in Florida? It's the same time it is in North Carolina. I don't know what time it is. It is. We don't know. We don't know. It's, it's nine something. Ten after eight. Ten after eight. So mom, Diane Fry says, hello, how are you doing? Now look, I'm going to look, see, hello, how are you doing? It's always the same message. Mom says, I'm good. <laughs> Which is the same message back. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful Friday after North Carolina monsoon yesterday. I hope all is going well with you. And then Diane says to her, good to hear from you comma am doing great can't complain comma just wondering if you had heard about the circulating news yet unfortunately <laughs> i ended diane's message at that point <laughs> laura has just said to you you've won the nigerian lottery you didn't play <laughs> just send me a routing number and account number to dis disperse <laughs> winning Tell yeah. him I went to Ohio State. I know not to do that. <laughs> she knows that. What's all funny? Adrian's making fun of me. I'm doing a video. Do you have Facebook? No. No? <laughs> and we're all so thankful for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, that's the last message. So if you have Facebook, you must... Take the time to learn about it. Dad, why don't you have Facebook? <clears throat> Our computer guy told us he didn't have Facebook, so I didn't get it. Oh. I think he was worried about uh, people stealing uh, your 
the dress and everything. Well, that's just what we're talking about. So when people text mom messages that she doesn't know, but she thinks she might, and they say things like, hello, how are you doing? She says things like this, all's good. <laughs> I try to keep everyone updated. <laughs> I admire that our classmates get together from time to time. I miss seeing you. Now I said to mom, do you know this person? Well, I thought I might. She said, Barb, Bob and Barbara Bowman said, we are laughing our asses off over this. Um, so there you have it. Supporters, we'll see you tomorrow. Dad, what are you going to be talking about tomorrow with the supporters? It's top secret till tomorrow. Top secret. What'd you talk to us about last year? Yeah, I wouldn't even bring that up. <laughs> it was uh, sexual content. Yes, it was very inappropriate. <laughs> Supporters, see you in the morning. Goodbye. Bye, Mom. You've learned your lesson. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. <laughs>